The year was 1910, and the revolution was about to begin. My great-great-great-grandfather, Colonel Carlos Herrera, and his family were amongst a small and very wealthy population that most of Mexico hated and was revolting against. They lived on a large hacienda called La Candelaria in San Pedro de las Colinas, Coahuila, where they were neighbors and good friends of revolutionary leader Francisco I. Madero. It was he that warned my great-great-great-grandfather of the revolt that was stirring and told him that he could not protect them any longer. They took up all the belongings they could carry and fled for the capital. There they were forced to start a new life without the riches they had known. As each of Carlos's children made their own lives, they dispersed into different directions. My great-great-grandmother, Manuela Hermosillo de la Cruz, and her husband, Edmundo, were from Ciudad Juarez. Thanks to the lenient immigration laws at the time, Manuela crossed over into our very own El Paso for the birth of my great-grandmother, Ramona, and her brother, Manuel, thus entitling them with U.S. citizenship. My great-grandmother and her brother were the only two of four who were born in the United States. The Hermosillos then moved to Delicias, Chihuahua, and here my great-grandmother Ramona met my great-grandfather Arturo Herrera, one of the nephews of the earlier mentioned Colonel Carlos Herrera. They wed, and on October 25th, 1937, my grandmother, Carmen, was born in Camargo, Chihuahua. They made their way back to Juarez with time, and here my grandmother would meet my grandfather, Eduardo Jaques. Thanks to the U.S. citizenship of my great-grandmother, Ramona, my grandmother was able to obtain this as well, which gave her husband and children, whom were all born in Mexico, the right to legally reside in the United States as well. My mother, Maria del Carmen, born in 1968, would gain her citizenship in 1976, along with her eldest brother. My grandfather and their youngest daughter would soon follow as well. On my father's side, I do not have as many details, but the story is much simpler. My grandfather, Francisco, was born in Juarez but his parents, Nieves and Manuel Gonzalez, and the entire family are from Torreón, Coahuila. My grandmother, Josefina, was born in Madera, Chihuahua, and this is also where the two met. They moved to Ciudad Juarez, and just like my great-great-grandmother on my mom's side, my grandmother, Josefina, had her children here in El Paso. Both my grandparents would receive residency status and later their U.S. citizenship thanks to their kids. My mother is the second of three children in her family and my father is the eldest of four. They met right here at the University of Texas at El Paso. My dad, 25 at the time, worked in food services and my mother was a freshman. 19. They wed a year later and have since had five children. My eldest brother Luis, my older sister Hiram, me right in the middle, Maria Fernanda as the fourth, and Ana Luisa the youngest. All five of us were born here in El Paso, Texas, and we are part of this big, proud Mexican-American family.